Cosmatia, spaceship architect and commander, does a solid job of putting the final frontier at your fingertips, giving you the necessary tools to explore and expand your budding starship enterprise. Cosmatia puts you in charge of building and expanding your starship, before setting off in search of loot and glory. Each new playthrough offers up two gameplay modes to choose from, career or creative. The former is the mode I spent the most time with, while the latter is exactly what you would expect, and then some. For me, Cosmatia hits its stride in career mode. From the off, you have the choice of three starting ships, but don't fret over this too much, as they're just something to get you started. You will soon have your ship customised to your liking, as you get to grips with the basics of manoeuvring, managing and maintaining your spaceship fairly quickly. From here, the galaxy is your playground, as you track down bounties and complete quests within each system to build and expand your ship further. Travelling between points of interest is as easy as clicking a mouse. It's a PC game after all, but getting from A to B is not without its fair share of peril. Zooming out, it's clear to see the various points of interest on the map, and as you unfog each area, more locations will begin to appear. Whether that's a ship graveyard ready to be scavenged, or an abandoned ship that you can board and add to your fleet. Cosmatia offers a decent variety of things to busy yourself with, without tying you down to one particular avenue or playstyle. I flitted between trading and completing bounties, so I built my first ship up as a general all-rounder, with plenty of weapons and storage, but as I increased my fleet by boarding and then capturing abandoned ships, I was able to set each one to serve a particular role. Space would not be space without its fair share of pirates and ne'er-do-wells, according to the films I watch anyway, and the same is true in Cosmatia. You could be bopping around, minding your own business before suddenly coming under fire from a ship that is anything but friendly. And you will quickly realise that to succeed, it's best to plan accordingly, or else your little starting ship won't cut it for very long. Upgrading and advancing your ship costs credits, and Cosmatia offers you plenty of opportunities to earn. Mining asteroids for resources before selling them to other ships is by far the easiest and often these resources come in handy when it comes to upgrading your ship. Another quick and easy way to bump up the bank balance is by completing bounties, which can be activated and handed in at the various space stations dotted around each galaxy. This cycle of gathering resources, completing bounties, gaining credits and then bulking up your ship forms the core gameplay loop in Cosmatia, and once I got past the initial barrage of tutorials, I quickly found myself hooked by its simple but effective systems. Each system feels purposeful and rewarding, and there was never a moment where I felt unsure or at a loss as to what to do next, because I was always striving to ensure my systems were working well and my resources were well stocked and properly aligned with one another. It cannot be overstated how well Cosmatia nails resource management. It's fine-tuned and well-balanced. As you would expect, adding components to your ship drains resources, which may impair your ship when it comes to performing other actions. This means the game becomes a fine balancing act between what you want to achieve and how's best to get there. On that, a quick word on the difficulty in Cosmatia. Playing at the recommended settings is manageable, but it has a steep difficulty curve, particularly once you venture away from the first system. Early on, my ship was repeatedly getting blown to smithereens, which is frustrating after having invested hours in grinding out a ship, only to watch it helplessly get ruined by some pirates. Thankfully, Cosmatia has a pretty decent autosave feature, which I did come to depend on during my time with the game, as loading an earlier save and getting back to it, with nothing but a few minutes lost, was really easy to deal with. I briefly dabbled in creative mode to get a sense of what it offered, but even after more than 20 hours in Korea, I still felt a little overwhelmed by everything on offer. Creative mode further expands upon building a starship by taking it one, or five, six, maybe even seven steps further by allowing you to create a galactic playground of your very own. With customization options ranging from the resources available to the size and location of the planets, and everything in between. I was surprised at the depth, but without devoting hours and hours to mapping out each system within the galaxy, everything ended up feeling a little bit empty. Granted, that is more on me than the game, as I'm sure many creators will go wild in this mode, but I felt that the game sacrifices its direction in order to offer up full creative freedom. 
That said, without the need for bounties or resource gathering, there isn't really much else left to do unless you flesh out the rest of the galaxy too, and this simply didn't feel as fun as career mode does. A nice little side note for Steam Deck owners out there, I was able to spend a good chunk of my time with Cosmetia on Steam Deck, and honestly, I much preferred playing it this way than I did on my PC. Apart from a few camera issues that are more of an annoyance than anything else, Cosmetia runs incredibly well, and the controls map without a hitch to the touchpad and the buttons on the deck. Cosmetia is a surprisingly deep and satisfying space sim. Its many systems complement each other beautifully, and although its grinding gameplay loop may not be for everyone, I really enjoyed the time I spent with it. Exploring is fun, and combat is simple, yet satisfying in its execution. The meat of the gameplay is found in how well you can manage and assign your resources, and once these systems get their claws into you, they sink deep. And that's our review. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please do share the love by hitting the like and subscribe buttons below, and give the bell a tickle too, so that you're notified whenever we've got new stuff. I've been Chris, you've been gorgeous, and I'll see you on the next one. Until then, cheers my dears.